For representation of the generators of SO3, we've defined this complex linear combination here, J plus minus, that's J1 plus minus I, J2, and now we study the commutation relations of J plus minus with J3. So that's J1 plus minus I, J2, commutator J3, and here we have the commutation relations so commutator of J1 with J3, that's minus I J2. And then we have plus minus I, commutator of J2 with J, J3, and that's I times J1. So we have here an I times I, so we have minus I J2, um, and that's minus plus J1 which we can write as minus plus J1. And now what do we need here? It's a minus plus I J2. No, the other way around. We need a plus minus here for this to, to work out. And the product is always the minus Okay, so in total we have minus plus j plus minus. And now with this we can study the following. Let's take an eigenvector of j3 with eigenvalue m and now apply this j plus or j minus to this eigenvector and see what happens if we multiply it with j3 again. So with this commutator here, we can just exchange J3 times J plus 1 for J plus 1 times J3. But then we have to compensate by subtracting the commutator J plus minus J3. Okay, so the first term of the commutator cancels and the last term comes with the right minus sign, and the whole thing times m. Now we have j plus minus and j3 times m, that's n times m. And here we have the, the commutator which we just calculated up here, so we get a plus minus j plus minus times m. And in total, that's m plus minus 1 times j plus minus m. So we see j plus minus applied to m is either also an eigenvector of j3 with eigenvalue m plus or minus 1, or it's 0. That could, of course, also happen.